this is our assignment. Now, here's what happens. The reason so often we don't think that way is we get kind of stuck, the church gets stuck in an Old Testament model. Now, the Old Testament model was that God's presence was in the temple. And if you wanted to see God or be with God, you went to the temple to experience God. It was kind of a come and see model. The, the religious leaders come to the temple, come to the temple, come to the temple, offer the sacrifice, come to the temple for forgiveness, come to the temple, and that's where the presence of God is. Well, Jesus shows up, and Jesus shows us a new way. He introduces a new model, a new way, and that that is through the cross. As Jesus says, no, no, the new way is that we are going to leave the temple. Jesus actually, through his death, the curtain in the Holy of Holies torn in two, and the presence of God went out through his people. You read in the book of Acts, it went out through his people. We talked about a couple of weeks ago that the apostle Paul said that we are, we are now temples of the Holy Spirit. This just messed with their minds. They're, no, the temple's that big building. That's, that's where God is. And they said, no, 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 you are. Same thing's true for us. Like the church, no, that's where God is, that building where we meet, 5205. No, 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 no. No, you and I are the temple. A couple weeks ago, I talked about how we're many temples. I believe that we are many temples spread out all over this city. Right now, wherever you are, you are a mini temple. Like you're a mini temple of God in your neighborhood. Your home is like a temple in your neighborhood. You're, you're, we're at your workplace, you are a mini temple to give the light of Christ to people. On your campus, on that ball field, you are a mini temple temple. And when you moved into the neighborhood, guess what? Jesus moved in with you. So the question I want to ask is this. When your neighbors, when your neighbors are struggling, when they're hurting, when they've had a setback or a crisis, do they know they can knock on your door? That's a question I think Jesus wants us all to ponder today. 